Welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. Um, I'm in the office today. I got to do some more work on my laptop computer. Uh, on the previous video, I show how I replaced the motherboard uh, because I did lose my audio, and with that little microchip that exploded on the motherboard, uh, it rendered the audio and the USB and Ethernet ports useless they just died anyway there was another problem that had been ongoing uh, longer than the motherboard and that was sometimes when I open my computer screen turn the computer on the computer fires up but there's no image on the screen so I shut the screen shut the or shut the computer down close the screen and open it slowly again turn it back on and this uh, computer fires up the screen uh, fires up so this has been going uh, an ongoing problem with my Toshiba laptop um, I ruled out it's the screen because the screen fires up it's no problem but in the motherboard there is this wire that connects the camera and the screen to the motherboard and it comes down through the hinge and plugs into the motherboard and that's where I suspect the problem is is in that portion of the cord maybe a little lead got frayed and it loses contact once in a while so what I did is I went online I went to eBay and I found a replacement cord for two dollars and ninety nine cents including shipping so that just arrived so let's go ahead and open the box and see what it looks like. Okay, it looks like it shipped from um, M -M 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 Montreal, Quebec, Canada. By the way, that's one foreign language I can speak fluently. Is Canadian, eh? I have a brother and some uh, nephews and nieces and cousins by the dozens that live up there. Bubble wrap, and that's it. This is the cord. Uh, this portion plugs into the back of the motherboard this plugs into the motherboard this is for your camera connection this is the screen connection and this threads up the back of the screen it's a flat wire and it uh, plugs into the back of the screen so let's go ahead and get the computer dissected and uh, replace this cord Again, we're going to take the uh, screen off. This plug right here, right there, that is the uh, plug we're unplugging. That I got, again, remove everything off the back. So let's do that battery and I got a new battery coming in okay this time around I don't need to remove any of this stuff I just needed to get to that hidden screw that was just right down in there and I need to remove this to get to a hidden screw that's under here and we got these two screws on the back of the laptop I want to point out I didn't take any schooling in computer repair I went to the University of YouTube to learn this now don't forget these three 
And there's one more hidden screw up front. Remember, don't force anything. Turn it around where it's up front. Don't force anything. There's one more hidden screw right here. Okay, now we can remove this top. Okay. Now we can access this uh, part. So what the instructions on YouTube called for is to remove uh, this rubber plug, this rubber plug, and you'll take this screw off. Here. Let me work with it this way. I'll take the screw off. The screw off. There, there should be six screws holding the screen shroud in. That's better, okay. All right, got the shroud out. Now, it looks like we got a plug. The one plug is right there. So I'm just gonna unplug it there and unplug it here and then remove the screen and try to thread it out from behind this hinge and it looks like there's only two screws holding that hinge in okay we just unplug this and thread it out I didn't have to remove that hinge and we're just going to re re get it free right there then we're going to go ahead and change that out with this one we have to remove these two screws also on this hinge and we're going to unplug this and okay, we're going to carefully peel up that tape. I'll go ahead and use that tape on the new one and peel this tape here. Unplug it. That one's out. Plug this back in. That's in. That's on. Go back up. goes under there okay that much is done and then we're gonna put the screws back in the screen Don't forget this piece. Okay, I gotta make sure these are all plugged back in.
Okay, it's back together. Let's see if it fires up without a hitch. It's working. Now, somewhere in here is where I suspect the wire's damaged, like right in here. And uh, that's why I had to change it out. So far, so good. It's working. I'm not so concerned about my camera unless I do Skype. Okay, it came on. I got audio. Everything's working. So about 90 bucks and I fixed my laptop. The true test is when I power it down, I, I do a restart. Because that's when I have the problems. With the screen left open, it restarts and the screen does not come back up again. So I hope this cord is the one that fixed it. We're going to do a restart. Power. Okay, it's off. Coming back on. Well, so far so good. It looks like I fixed it. Okay. So far so good, it came up, so let's do a hard shutdown, one more test, and turn it back up. Uh, the battery is so old, it has enough life to last probably about 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, it shut off, so let's power it back up again. Alright, I think I fixed the problem with that little cable. So I managed to fix the problem uh, by replacing this cable right here that goes behind the screen and it, uh, it connects your screen and your camera to your uh, laptop motherboard. So found the problem, didn't have to replace the whole screen. So if you have a problem like this, you know what to replace, know how to replace it now by watching these videos or watching a number of any other videos on YouTube that uh, other people have posted. So I'm Jerry Hansen here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I want to thank you for joining me in this little adventure. Please uh, feel free to subscribe. Just push that little subscribe button down there uh, and give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up are really important to me. And also leave a comment. I enjoy your comments. See how I'm doing. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.